The civil war in Skyrim was hard on us all, regardless of what side you were on. But I want you to take a good look at yourself. You might be out of a home, or a job. You might have lost those close to you, but you still have your life, and that means we can rebuild. We can put this awful experience behind us. Please excuse me. My name is Sirket, former Legionnaire. I had a dream recently. All the orphans and refugees having a place to call home and begin that rebuilding. So my friends and I started to rebuild Dragon Keep, an old, dilapidated castle on a hill west of Whiterun. It's not much, but in time I would like it to grow to become a school and boarding house for those lost children. If you've got soldiering experience, come on by and we can give you a new beginning. And if not, bring what skills you have and we can put you to work. Join us, won't you? Let's work together toward a brighter future for all of us in Skyrim. Been a while. I know you've been following Distana's story, but I've been making moves too. Good to see you. Hey, Lid, we're moving up. Pack up your stuff and come with me. Oh, is your orphanage project done? Not quite yet. Hey, for today, I imagine I just put a bunch of story and mods in a blender, but I don't talk much. Porker face. You little wretch. <laughs> what do you need, my friend? <laughs> so, you know, enjoy. Rika! You remember Lydia, my house Carl? Of course. I'm ready to be of help any way I can. Oh, we'll put you to work. Don't you worry. And this is Hadvar, my shield brother from another mother. Practically turned me into a symbol for desertion. Nothing you wouldn't do for me. <laughs> <laughs> so how's work going? Did those guys I recommended pan out? Look around. Those guys are great. Got the Great Hall looking like this in under a week. Wow, what's their secret? Get this. The brothers use telekinesis to position the objects and their workers just lock them into place. But they're not cheap. Uh, how not cheap are we talking? Well, with what they've done and what they still have left, plus operations costs and supply costs to fix everything, about a million septums. What? A million? Who's going to pay for that? Technically, we did. But by taking out massive personal loans with the East Empire Company. Not much better. But at least everybody will be well paid before we get brute squads coming our way. Why not take out loans at the Bank of Daggerfall? No dice. I think they all went bankrupt in the Third Era when all the adventurers took out massive loans to buy ships and just skipped town. I assumed you were going to pay for your brainchild. What did you go to elsewhere for, anyway? I mean, the Thalmor there were carrying a lot of gold. I have about 200k after that. I assume we're paying the teachers and guards here. Of course. A lot of them were Legion deserters, or people who found themselves without a job after the Legion left. As long as they're not planning on starting a counter-rebellion here, or make it look like we are to the local Jarls. So, got any ideas? First, I'm gonna ask for help. I do know a few people with money. Damn, this place looks amazing. Yeah, I'm willing to pitch in for a friend's dream. After elsewhere, I can spare 300k. Wow, I knew you'd come through. Thanks, Des. We already asked the Stormblade Company in Sidnu, Balgruf, and Ulfric. Only got about 100k. We should be thankful they offered that much. Still, that leaves 400,000 septums. Nothing to sneeze at. That seems pretty out of reach for adventuring jobs. Yeah, I'm gonna have to ponder on this. Oh, Destana, do you expect to be paid back? Man, that leaves me with 20k, and I have nothing to do with it anyway. Hello, friend. Oh, wow, you're looking very nice. Think the red suits me? How's your brainstorming? Not going well. Oh, I think your pretty red dress gives me an idea. And I can undo one of the things I messed up earlier. You're probably not going to like my plan, though. You know what? Fuck it. I don't need to know. I trust you. Call me if you need combat support. Damn, well, that's new. His guild is maven black bright. Never a good day to die. <laughs> you. Someone 
Wow, crime is getting to be a problem in this city. Thanks for walking me home, sir. Personally, I think Maven controlled crime better when she was organizing it. That's your idea? Are you insane? No. I mean, I doubt I have the charisma to pull it off. But this is a Hail Mara. Well, good luck, my friend. You'll need it. Excuse me, Jarl Maven. Yes, what is it? Shouldn't you be traveling with a bodyguard? That giant got awfully close. Wouldn't want anything to happen to such a lovely lady. You flatter me, and I do appreciate it. Damn giants have been getting too far in these days. Did you want something? Nope, just an opportunity to do public service. I imagine you're lying through your teeth. Everybody wants something. But you're entertaining enough that I'll humor you for now. What's your name, Heroic Pretender? Circuit. I do believe I've heard of you. In fact, weren't you the Legate who put me on the throne in Riften? Actually, I was never a Legate, but I was a leader in that raid, yes. Huh. It's no wonder the Legion failed in Skyrim. It seems they've got no eye for talent. Small world, Circuit. Pleased to meet you. Now I have some business to attend to. Please excuse me. Of course. Hope to be seeing you again. Likewise. I like to keep my friends close. Well, I see you won't leave me alone. Is there anything I can help you with? I'm waiting for the new missive postings. Sorry if I'm being forward, but you look bored. <sighs> Maybe I am. Are you proposing something? Have you lived in Skyrim your whole life? Most of it. What's it to you? Have you ever seen Bard's Leap Summit? How about the Azura statue up close? Well, no, but why the devil would I want to go out and endanger myself to see such silly things? If you put yourself out there, there's a lot to see. Speaking of which, the bandits are getting really bold, just waltzing into Riften. The Civil War hit us hard, and there are conflicts in Elsewhere and High Rock, too. Rampant piracy, you name it. There's nobody to hunt down the bandits. Travel has become dangerous of late. What makes things worse, this war has taken a toll on the merchants of Skyrim. I can tell you're in your element. You're beautiful in your element. Oh? I don't expect anyone to admire a Blackbriar. There's no need to ruin your life on my account. Ruin my life? Just an observation, that's all. And now I know you're full of shit, but you're no looker yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking. There's a new museum opening up. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Ah, oh, damn it. Where'd she go? Oh, what a surprise. It's my secret admirer. Not my fault we keep running into each other. Fancy and pleasant indeed. I was delving an old ruin and found this. And I figured you'd like it. Really? Thank you very much, my friend. Maven, can I ask you something? Hmm? Given any thought to coming on an adventure with me, I could show you the world, but I'm not gonna start singing. You know what? Screw it. I suppose I could. Let me know when you'll be ready. I like the sound of rain. It's so soothing. Yes, what is it? I know this isn't the ideal date spot, but there's a woman to save. I expected this at some point. Maybe not the first place we went. Relatively simple rescue. Only gotta fight a bear. Is fighting a bear really that trivial to you? Man, I fought a few. If I was a mage, maybe I would pacify him. But I'm not good at magic. Strange that she's in here. It's not like bears kidnap people. Hmm. Perhaps it was a wild man, or a cult. 
or bandits playing a joke, or she just fell in a hole. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Got a question, though. Sure thing. Ask away. You're involved with the Thieves' Guild and Dark Brotherhood, right? Yes, I have been paying to sustain the Thieves' Guild out of my own pocket. But it's like throwing septims from a rock at sunset and enjoying their shimmering while they fall down. Petty and pointless. Dark Brotherhood, though. Those are complete buffoons. If my sources are correct, they haven't succeeded in killing anyone over the past 200 years, if only by accident. Works like a charm on random cretins that ask too many questions, though. Ugh, what a terrible smell. I'm Circuit. I'm here to free you. How can I argue with that? Hmm? I do know some good views between here and Riften. When we get back, do you have any requests? I'm feeling like more adventuring. As a matter of fact, yes. I do have some work for you. Not me, personally, but my silly daughter, Ingen. Don't tell her I sent you, though. She might get a wrong idea. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Ingen Blackbriar. Take a look at my supplies if you must, but do hurry. I'm not getting any younger, you know. Do you work alone down here? Hardly. In fact, I don't know how I get anything done with all the distractions I have to put up with. My wife, half York, well, she's a necessary evil, I suppose. Not a lick of talent when it comes to alchemy, but she keeps me fed. Why do you have your shop in the canal? Well, the moisture in the air is better for the ingredients. It isn't every day that you get your hands on fresh nern root or painted troll fat. It also makes it easier to gather water when the canal is right out the front door. Besides, I also prefer the quiet. I didn't open this business for browsing. Come in, buy what you need, and get out. I'm looking to learn about alchemy. Could I help you out? Maybe you can help me. Oh, hey girl. You look like you need help. Hmm. Actually, yes. You one of those adventuring types? Yep. Missive board is pretty bare. So I figured I'd ask the townspeople. I have a huge sum I need to make. Well, it just so happens. I have a task, and I have money. You an alchemist or something? Master Elgrim sent me to get ingredients for him. Hold on. I'll give you a list. And a handsome reward if you manage to do it quick. Sure. I'll get them for you. And this sum you wrote down. Wow. Easy for a little flower picking. Well, my mom says the bandits and giants are getting rough lately in the rift. Probably why his supply is so low, actually. Hey, adventurer. Looks like you're about done. Come on down. It was harder than it looked, but I got it all. Thank you. I feel like I owe you a bit more for your diligence. Maybe come back when I'm his actual apprentice. Oh, did my mom put you up to this? Ha <laughs> ha, guilty. But I just like being helpful. For gold, of course. Of course. We'll see you around. Yes, what is it? Couldn't help but notice you seem happier outside Riften. Don't tell me. My people. I don't trust them. Come to think of it, I don't expect anyone to miss me, either. Not a day goes by that I don't regret living here. You have to understand, it's been a long time since I had anyone I can rely on. A bit melodramatic, don't you think? Well, I'm pretty reliable. Ask the Legion. Time for bed. I'll be staying nearby. Safe travels. You know where to find me, dear. Are you fucking kidding me? We need to get this shit under control. Also, I need to figure out where all these giant weapons are coming from.
never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you're carrying. I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septim of it honestly. I can tell. My wealth is none of your business. Hands off. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, lad. Wealth is my business. Maybe you'd like a taste. Oh, I think I know who you are. I'm not interested. Sorry. Not my style. I've got actual business to do. Like figuring out how to keep the giants and bandits out of this town. Layla Lawgiver, thanks for coming. You might be wondering why I asked you here. I did think it strange the leader of the force that invaded Riften sent me a letter, yes. As you can see, the Empire is no longer here. I think we can help each other. Just what are you proposing? Let me answer you with a question. What do you do all day now that you've been deposed? Where do you live? I purchased Lakeview. Mostly, I'm bored. Aha! I figured a born leader like yourself wouldn't have much to do. What if I told you? Maven doesn't want to be Yarl. What do you mean? She's got all the power she wished for. Why would she give that up? Because I'm going to offer her a better deal. But if you want in on it, it's going to cost you. Now hold on. I figured that once this slippery orc called for you, he was up to no good. You know he actually blackmailed me to get the location of that wagon that was robbed by the Empire? Blackmailed you? What do you have to hide, Anuriel? Uh, well... I was a legionnaire. It was my job to win by any means necessary. I'm not proud of some of the things I had to do in the war. And I certainly think you were a better Jarl than Maven. I thought the crime was due to her. But I now realize you really did keep the laws. And I think she's better where she was. I think she's in over her head and frankly bored. Just like you are. So what's this gonna cost me? Two million septums. What? There is no way. Are there even two million septums in Skyrim? Come on, you must have a nest egg. Are you really going to pass up your children's future? Tell you what, two million was a little high. I just wanted to make it attractive for Maven. I think she would part with the title for one million. You know, that is doable. I'll have to take out a loan from the Silverbloods, but I could do it. Of course, I need Maven to agree to work with me. Not what she'd been doing, bleeding me dry, because I will be dry after this. Yeah, Circuit, what do you want? I have a proposal for you. A proposal? Come now, you don't want to marry an old maid like me. And no offense, but I don't want to marry again in general. Old? You can't be much older than 30. But no, that's not what I meant. More flattery, I see. So what was the deal? You're bored as the Jarl. Honestly, I think it's holding you back. Interesting. You didn't peg me for a salesman. Only known you a couple weeks, but I've come to trust you. What are you proposing? We have somebody who is willing to run the city on paper, and you go back to doing what you were doing, with a blank check to do whatever you want. And I bet I can get her to work with you. You've got my interest, but such a transfer of power needs some sort of compensation. How's 500,000 septums grab you? Oh shit, you've already got a plan and everything. I should let you be my financial manager. <laughs> <laughs> I'll set up the meeting. All right, both sides have heard the terms. An exchange of septums for the Jarldom. And both parties agree to work together towards keeping the peace and consolidation of power for the Black Briars and Lawgivers. Are we in agreement? I agree, and I'll take back my steward and house. Thanks. No problem. I look forward to a mutually beneficial business arrangement in the future. I'll handle the money transfer. I'm surprised you let Anuriel keep her job when the transfer happened. I'm surprised you're doing the same. So I am keeping my job, right? Yes, but I do think we'll be having a discussion about integrity. All right, I can arrange the moves. Thank you. This was an excellent deal. Oh, since I'm here, I cleared out Clear Spring Tarn. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Stay sharp out there. Hi. Mm -hmm. Of course. Sure. I've got no to our youth. To the days come and gone. For the yes, what is it? Hey, Maven, let's talk. 
I would never refuse you, my dear. You're looking anxious. You should relax with a drink, especially after that deal. Everything okay? Here, I want you to have this. It's the key to my manner. Feel free to stay as long as you like. Consider this a little reward for your actions. I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble? Just trying to make a difference. Yeah? Well, I got news for you. There's nothing to see here. Last thing the Black Briars need is some stranger sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for him. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. Dirt? I'm not exactly clean myself. Then we're speaking the same language. Good. So what do you want to know? How long have you been their house, Carl? About 15 years, maybe more. It gets all blurry over time. Not exactly an easy job, but surely beats living in the rat way. Besides, the boss is reasonable, as long as you don't make her angry. And believe me when I'm saying this, you don't want Maven angry. Fair enough. I better get back to work. Boy, your house Carl's got quite an attitude. Ah, uh, that? That would be Maul, our house Carl. Charming, isn't he? If looks could kill. Don't let Maul scare you. He's a brute, but with a heart of gold. That's his job, posing to intimidate. Aside cooking, cleaning, helping around the house. Took the job in a heartbeat when my family was in dire need of a helping hand. His brother still runs with the guild, so you'll probably meet him in the Ragged Flagon, if not met already. Seems a little young, though, to be your husband. Ha <laughs> ha. More? Ha, he wishes. I'm a widow, if that wasn't obvious. Sorry about that. Eh, it's fine. I heard worse. Tell you what, since you're so interested in skeletons from my closet, meet me in Riften's Hall of the Dead, and I just might throw you a bone or two. Not literally, I hope. Huh, <laughs> you'll see. Ingun seems really interested in alchemy. Did something happen? Well, that's a long story. Actually, no, it's a pretty short and boring one. For you see, Ingun was always a girl full of curiosity. A curiosity that killed a cat, literally. We used to have a Khajiit servant, you see. One day, Ingun went into field, gathered some flowers, came back home and brewed a tea. The servant smelled the deadly aroma of nightshade and rushed towards her, grabbed the cup before she took a sip, drank it, and dropped dead before her knees. She was his favorite, and that day he taught her an important lesson, that any careless actions may result in death. Needless to say, she's been obsessed with alchemy ever since. Got any gossip? I've heard those mages up in Winterhold have been trying to figure out how many dragons there are in Skyrim. They seem to think it's at least a dozen, but I'm sure they're exaggerating. They're probably trying to scare us into giving them more money and influence so they can save us from the dragon's threat. I have actually fought four dragons, and Destana's fought or met at least twenty. So, a dozen is extremely low. Oh shit, well maybe somebody should actually do something about it. Well, I did hear that the Argonians have been banned from living inside the walls of Windhelm. They're only allowed on the city docks now. Most of them sleep together in one building and they're as poor as wretches. Not surprising, though, considering the Grey Quarter is little better than a slum. It's shameful that the Dark Elves are made to live that way. That's very compassionate. So is this the resting place of your... If you were hoping to meet my husband, I'm afraid he's not here. Fun story. Nobody actually knows where his body is. They misplaced him. Does that happen here often? If only you knew how bad things really are. Anything in this accursed town is bound to be stolen, unless outright bolted down to the floor. The more I think of reasons why someone would want his body, the less I want to know the truth. It's all just too gruesome. Huh? Not what you were hoping to hear? Well, too bad. Perhaps I'll tell you more once the right time comes. For now, let's leave it at that. Well, I did see something interesting not long ago. There were several Khajiit camped outside the walls of Whiterun. Seems they've been traveling around the whole of Skyrim, peddling their wares. You've got to admire their courage, doing something like that with dragons on the loose and a war going on. Come to think of it, one of them looked strangely familiar. Does he remind you of someone? Yes, he kind of does. 
my poor beloved Sadri. I, I couldn't even give him a proper burial. Can you believe it? Someone broke into Hall of the Dead and stole his body. To skin him like a hawker, no doubt. I looked everywhere. Punched every bastard who dared to call him a carpet and a flea bag along the way. All for naught. No one saw a damn thing. Hmm. Seems too convenient. Back in the Hall of the Dead, you said. That nobody knows where my husband's body is. So you did pay attention. You probably already connected the dots, so I see no point in messing with your head. Mostly. You see, there's one thing never mentioned in the books. Do you know what a Khajiit actually is? I mean... Cat people, shaped by Azura from the same primordial Elnofe as the Bosmer. In other words, meow. Very funny. Didn't expect less from you, though. I couldn't help but notice a statue of Dibella in your room. Are you a devotee? If you ask me, to practice the Dibellan arts with you, I'll not argue that. Mother became almost like her old self, and guess it's you who I should thank for that. Well, thank you. I feel like you guys will do better without her as Jarl. Hey, Ingun, what's up? Oh, it's you. Well, you are already, um, quite familiar with my mother, aren't you? I don't know how you did it, but I've never seen her so happy. Not ever since my father passed away. <sighs> thank you for curing this dysfunctional family, even if for a bit. I am too familiar with things to think that seeing me on the streets might bolster Look what I found. Now. Wait, hang on. Lady, there could be agents of the Empire looking for an opportunity like that to have you killed. Are you willing to take that risk? No. Of course, you're right, Unmid. I'll stay here for now. What the heck? When did that happen? Hey, I know another back in time is a little unexpected after a while. Though all the gameplay videos are in my timeline, I think I can wrap up this story in one more go, a story that nobody asked for. But these numbered episodes are a way for me to say, I'm going to be doing a lot of vanilla and modded stuff, not tied to one specific mod. It's hard to decide where the stolen years will begin, which will be the next numbered structure of episodes. It'll have a prologue, just like Bit and Kalpit Collapse, and start from episode one. I would like it if people appreciated this like a TV show, but I know that's a little ambitious, something I'm overflowing with. Speaking of which, Calpit Collapse will continue when it's been enough time that I can make a tight narrative and I think the algorithm will push it. Valserano and Katana will get more episodes in the timeline when they get their updates. The only sure thing for Destana and Sirket, before at least a small time skip, is Saints and Seducers, though I do often change my mind at the drop of a hat. I feel like my execution of the mystery woman in KC, the foreshadowing and building of action, then reveal at the end was pretty dynamite. Maybe more than a couple hundred people will appreciate it someday. But hey, the subtext for what Sirket's currently in, romancing Maven, is that maybe he's actually starting to crack her shell and starting to like her. Anyway, I hope you enjoy all my work. So long, and thanks for watching.